Well, uh, the first time I saw that piece of film, uh, it was with Robert Zemeckis standing in front of a monitor, and they were running the scene, and it was pretty much the way you see it in the film, but for one thing, there was no feather. The feather was digitally generated after the fact, and so he stood there with his hand moving through the frame and told me about this beautiful white feather that would be there. I never got to see it, though, when I was working on the piece of music. And then I went off, and that was the very first thing I did for the film. It was, well, we're back to the pain in the stomach, right? <laughs> it started with a stomach ache, but it was interesting. It was, it, that's one that came rather quickly. Um, I knew it needed to be innocent, childlike, and something pure about it and, and easy. Um, and so it really was thought of mostly as a nursery rhyme, which seemed to be appropriate for Forrest. We've been on tour kind of worldwide with Back to the Future, the concert film, which is a, it's a new endeavor where we take uh, the original film and we show it uh, front to back, but the, uh, the one little change is that we have a spectacular live symphony orchestra playing the score while we watch the film for us. Uh, Tim Burton has brought me to Belfast and Cinemagic. And uh, we've been hearing about this program for a long time from Tim. We were finally able to come and participate. We talked about the whole range of, of the film scoring process. And there are quite a few parts to that. Um, and some of them, I think, were, were not quite known by the group. We went through the group, which was great, and asked everyone, you know, why they were here. Um, and it was an interesting range of, of, of reasons. Some people were here because they were interested in film music. Some were interested in, in music editing. Um, some were interested in filmmaking. And some didn't know why they were here. Those will probably be the big successful filmmakers of the future. To have something like Cinemagic actually kind of you know, opening the veil, hot, pulling the curtain over and letting young folks see how this is done. It's a magical thing, and it, I think it gives people a lot of hope that, hey, I could do this.